Right. Uh, so today's session is 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 themed uh, secret to self promotion, and I think it's a build up from last week's session, um, or the week before, where we were looking at um, some of the personality traits that make us stand out and how we can use those um, to possibly market ourselves. Um, and the reason why we're looking at self-promotion is because I think a lot of us uh, spend time uh, promoting other people and the ideal situation is that we'd like to promote uh, or to get ourselves promoted in, the, in, in a similar way. Why should anybody else? Right, so today's outcomes are, we will learn about self-promotion. Uh, um, we were still talking about that, that we're going to look at, we're going to look at um, learning about self-promotion and possibly defining self-promotion and seeing it in, 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 in different lights. And then what we'll do is we'll explore what it is that makes you as a person to stand out. And then uh, we will go to delve into rethinking about re, uh, representing yourself as a brand. And then lastly, we're going to build confidence and expand or rather by expanding digit, our digital skills. So I think before we move on to the next slide, I think it's important that we share that the session is going to be uh, split into two sections. So part one is where we're going to delve deep into self-promotion, look at the definition of what self-promotion is, how we can promote ourselves better, and possibly reasons behind why we're promoting ourselves. And then the second bit is we're going to do an overview of a, a digital skills platform um, that could possibly assist you in building your digital skills and where you feel you lack in some skills, you can use that platform to sort of uh, rebuild the, the digital skills that you have. And where you don't have the skills, you could use the same portal to so, sort of build on, 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 you, on your digital skills. oneself, especially in a forceful way, and forceful way, which almost um, makes one to assume that there's a push uh, every time when you when you when you self promote, there's the element of pushing what you're trying to bring across. Right. So I think because of that definition, it leads us to 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 thinking. Basically, that uh, self promotion is on all that you are show off or you're a swagger. So there's a, a list of names that um, is seen as, as, as self-promoting. And I, I think from a young age, um, a lot of us, when, when we're still young, we instinctively have this um, self-promotion um, and it comes across as, as being overconfident. And I think in most families, when a child tries to show off uh, their capabilities to visitors. The child is told to sit down uh, or you're just making too much noise or whereas the child is really just trying to show off a particular skill or they are happy about the results that they got from school and they like to show that, you know, they're able to achieve this through hard work. And I think in most instances, what happens then is that over time as you grow, because you, you, you've been reprimanded so much, that element of confidence and of show promotion, almost you, you shy away from it. And as you grow, you, you, you become more doubtful about promoting yourself. And you, you sometimes wonder uh, if you are promoting yourself in a positive light or not. So uh, today, what we're going to do, we're going to try and redefine the self-promotion. Um, and the, the redefinition uh, on a positive note, especially where you're looking uh, to seek for funds uh, for your business or where you're looking to find employment, there's, it, it's, it's key that you learn to promote yourself and in a positive light. So we're going to rede redefine self-promotion in that manner. 
And the first bit about re redefining uh, uh, self-promotion in a positive manner is that you must be aware that self-promotion speaks to educating people about the skills that you have and the values that you possess. So it's not necessarily that you're bragging about them, but you're showing the next person so that the next person has a better understanding of whether what they're looking for against what you sh you you sharing can match in one way or another, and in that case, in and in turn, you get employable. The second element. The second element is that. It alerts recruiters and funders reasons why you're the best candidate for a particular po position. Otherwise, they won't know unless you position yourself such that you, you, you promote, you're promoting yourself uh, in a positive light. And the last part is that you process or analyze the skills you have and using the, the, the promotion to feather yourself and all your business. So when, when you are self-promoting in a positive light, it's, 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 it's a process of analysis that looks at what is it that I'm able to do, who am I, what am I able to achieve, and then you bring those forth and then you share them so that it, it, it sort of promotes you for, for, for better opportunities. Is the reason why we should uh, self-promote, um, and I think the previous slide speaks to redefining um, and it touches a bit on reasons why we should self-promote. But I think we went a step further, and what we did is we looked at some stats. And when we looked at some stats, you will see that the very first part of, of our, or the very first point is that one in six candidates who have applied for a particu particular, particular job uh, were requested for, to, to come for an interview. So in the event that um, 250 uh, CVs were, re were received by HR, four, four to six out of those CVs will only get feedback. And then at the end, only one person gets that particular post, right? So from the 250, HR only communicates or recruiters only communicate with four to six of those participants for just one job, right? The second part of stats says, um, recruiters take an average of six seconds to scan through a, a CV. So literally, they look at your CV six seconds and they already know if it's going to be one of the CVs that they they actually looking at uh, for, for the particular job that you've applied for. And the last part is that 87% of recruiters use LinkedIn to check for candidates. So that there goes that element of, of making sure that we beef up our digital skills because I think whether or not we like it, opportunities, um, one is able to reach opportunities much faster in a, in a digital uh, age. And I think previously what used to happen is people used to deliver their, CV, their CVs um, by foot, drop them off. And over time that doesn't happen because the amount of job posts that are available are enormous. There's a lot of job, job posts that are, are, are out there. And if you were to think of dropping your CV by foot, it would take forever. And you wouldn't even be able to reach half of the posts that are available. So being online is key because you are able to reach more, uh, complete more job applications much quicker. And, um, where there's, and, and, and when you look at it, there's less cost attached to it. It's a matter of being online, whereas if you are delivering the, 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 the application, even if it's um, an application for business and things like that, all those applications currently happen online. And, and, and we see this because stats indicates that 87% of recruiters look at uh, LinkedIn. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a step back and look at some of the people that we worked with in our previous session. Uh, in terms of character traits and look at them now from a perspective of how they promote themselves. And the first person that I think we, we had a, a beautiful conversation about uh, in our previous session was Somizi. And um, in this case, we, in fact, in the previous session, we spoke about how bold Somizi is and how unmissable he is. He's just there in your face. And we, we now bringing him back here 
for particular em- elements. And I think we there are a thing or two that we could learn from him as a person and how he promotes himself. Right. So the first thing is that Usomisi is aware about his skills. And since he's aware about his skills, he's then able to promote himself on a daily basis. If you follow uh, Usomizi on Instagram or what or whatever social media platform, you'll re- even on TV. In fact, when you see Usomizi, he's he's he he promotes himself in every uh, possible way. Where you find him, how he speaks, how he does things, he promotes himself with no doubt, with no doubt. And what he does very well is he refines his strengths and 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 and, and skills. So Usomiz is not just about get the job, do the job, get it done, and it's done. He's always looking at ways on how to refine the skill that, that he has. So he harnesses the skills that he has. And then what he does very well is he exposes himself to people and spaces that, that, that will boost the, the skills and the strengths that he has. So wh- wherever he is, it's not just an appearance. In that space that he is, He's, he's, he's promoting himself and he's got, he, he, what he does very well is he exposes himself to people that will potentially grow him and he's always found in spaces where he can promote himself even better. Uh, and he, he, he continuously is thinking about ways in which he can promote himself. Uh, initially, Usomizu was well known for his Sarafina act and everybody knew he could act. Then he moved, he was a dancer, and we could pick that up from Musarafina. And then he was a choreographer for almost every possible show. And in fact, was, was, was key in the 2010 World Cup uh, choreography. And then from there, Uso Mizi then is now coming up of late and he's got a cooking show. And whereas nobody knew about Somizi's skills for, cook, for cooking, but because he's constantly seeking for growth, we now find him in the space where he's cooking, he's talking about writing a cookbook. And he, he, what he did is he tapped on some of the skills that he inherited from his father. So, and what he does in, in all his efforts to promote himself, he's very consistent. So, so means you'll never find him down and out in terms of promoting himself. He's always just five jumps ahead. And this is what makes him pop out. And, and this is why uh, he, he builds so well in terms of his career. The second person that we spoke about um, for, for, for career, for, for uh, personality traits, sorry, was Uvusi Temeguayo. And we spoke of Uvusi also in a very positive light and how he's got uh, strong speaking skills. And we see here as well that over and above his education, because we know that he's well educated, uh, what he does is he gets himself in spaces where he can learn as much as possible, especially when it comes to current affairs. Uh, when you follow Uvusi uh, uh, and his pages, you will see that he's 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 always aware about what's happening. And he makes, he makes it a point to follow up on the topics that are out there so that when he speaks, he speaks from an, a very knowledgeable uh, a, a place. And this is what, what or how he, he promotes himself. And then what he does is he exposes himself in the field that he is in. He did uh, business administrative studies. Um, and in... in, in, in Whilst he did the studies, what he did very well as well is that he, he coupled it with his presentation skills. And today we see him as a, as a motivational speaker. And I think what's, what's very strong about Uvusi is he's, he, he, he is the brand. When you see Uvusi, how he presents himself, how he has packaged his, himself, he is a walking product. And therefore, you, when, when he wants to speak on a particular a, a topic you 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 can't deny yourself the opportunity to sit and actually listen to him because you know that there, there is a lot of thought that he takes in making sure that he presents himself in a manner that 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 will 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 advertise him as as a person who, who promotes himself or rather as a business because i think the model that he does is he looks at 
himself as a business because the key element of what he does is the skill that he has. And in order to, to, to promote himself positively, he's got to make sure that he looks to the part, he presents himself as such as well. And I think what he does as well very, uh, very often is that he promotes himself and his promotion are consistent. And the last person that we're going to talk about is Usas Pamela. I'm sure that the people who've connected to this call do not know SISPEM. But I'm going to share some brief, brief background on how I met SISPEM. When I started working from, for SchoolNet SA, SISPEM was this lady who would come in and bring us scones. Um, and the, the people at the time in the office really enjoyed SISPEM scones. And what happened is for, every, for all our training sessions that we organized, we'd ask Usis Pam to cater for people. And our sessions are normally catering for 25 to 30 participants at a go. So we'd call Usis Pam and say, hey, Spam, we have a small Anyana event. Can you cater for like our teachers for a training session? And he would do that gladly. But what I liked particularly about Usis Pam was that in all the training sessions that he catered for, his skills were refined all the time. He made sure, she made sure that she served nothing but the best. And all the time she kept to, for tea, she made sure that she included her signature scones and everybody raved about these scones. So he, she worked with a niche base of clients and then gradually expanded because over the years, what we've realized is that Usis Pam is now catering for weddings, so for bigger, much bigger events. And when he, he served initially at the start, he served with a lot of patience and he takes time to actually takes time to understand her clients so that when she, what she offers, she offers it from a position where uh, she understands what the clients are seeking. And, and, and this has made Usis Pam grow tremendously. Um, and she never, she just never drops her standard in terms of what she serves. And you will see that the image in, in this presentation is actually says Pam as plate when she was catering in one of our uh, uh, events in the office. But what we noted is that Usis Pam has now expanded and all her cutlery has got her, uh, her, her, her details engraved on the plate. And that's how how big she's grown. So in all the weddings, you see the plates engraved Pamela and, and, and because she has just grown tremend tremendously and she did so slowly, she's persevered, she served with patience. And over time we see that Usis Pam um, is, is, is serving a much larger scale of, 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 of people through refining her product or uh, uh, yeah, and being consistent with, with, with with, with her service. So you will see that with all the people that we've just spoken about, there's the element around the power of branding. So all the, all the people that we've spoken, so what we've realized with all the, the people that we've briefly spoken about is the power of branding. On the screen, we currently have some well-known brands, the first of it being the iPhone. And the, 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 the wording right at the bottom says, iPhones aren't the, the most advanced phones out there. They, they are known as a status symbol. And then Starbucks, if you're a coffee lover, it, it says Starbucks isn't the best coffee out there. They are known to make you happy. And then with Toyota, Toyota isn't making anybody's dream car. They are known as safe and reliable. And the last one is McDonald's. Isn't McDonald's the best beggars? They are known for being cheap and fast. So you'll see that with all these, um, with all these uh, products, there's a big element of branding that's behind the actual product that's being delivered. So what actually sells more than the actual content or the more than the actual, uh, yeah, the, the, the actual content of, of what's being offered. What sells really out there is the brand and how you position yourself. So branding isn't just the logo, it's what the logo represents. And it's important 
it's key, it's vital that you see yourself as a brand because in that way, what you do is what you defining what it is that makes you stand out. So I'm going to take a moment and ask all of us to think slightly deeper about ourselves and perhaps think about the things that makes us stand out. Right. What we've learned so far are the keys to, to, success, to a successful self-promotion. You don't have to be a genius. You just need to build on your strengths. You need to be persistent. You need to stick around and be persistent in the product that you are. And then you need to build confident and expand your digital skills so that you connect to the world and sell yourself to the world out there. If you position yourself correctly and you brand and you stick to what and who you believe you are, it will be much easier for other people to actually promote you, promote you uh, over time. And you won't necessarily spend as much time promoting yourself, but the work that you do will then speak, to, will speak on your behalf. Right, so I'm going to pause here a bit and I'm going to find out if my colleague Uhlengiwe has managed to join the session. And if she has, I'm going to ask her to take us through um, the Applied Digital Skills platform so that we try and see how we can potentially boost our digital skills. And where, and if she hasn't connected, what I'll do is I'll, I'll connect again and just take you through the platform. Thank you. Thank you so much, Matapelo. Um, I have connected, I'm in, but um, I'm connected via my cell phone because um, there is a problem with connecting with via my laptop. Um, it's, it's, it's busy processing and I can't get in. Okay, so um, would you suggest that I carry on? Uh, please do, because um, as we speak, uh, I've been hoping that by this time I would be in, but I am not in. All right, noted, thanks. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that I applied, I opened the new tab that I'll, I'm going to be working in. Right. So what happened here is I just followed the link to the Applied Digital Skills. Um, what I'm going to quickly do as well is I'm going to copy the I'm going to copy the the the, the URL. And I, what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to share it in the chat box so that everybody has access to this uh, platform. Oh, it seems Queen has already done it. Thanks so much, Queen. Right, so the URL is in the chat box. Now I'm going to go back to my to my um, to my Chrome and go through the the logging in process. So when you click on that link, it will ask you to create an account using your current Google account. Or it will uh, important also that I mention that this platform is mainly used for uh, schooling. And because it's a room for um, out of school youth or any adult learners, and I'll just take you through a way to find the different uh, spaces in the platform. So I've clicked on the link and currently it will ask me to choose an account. So I'm going to use my work account because it's also, uh, it sits on, on, on a Gmail account. Uh, 
Um, apologies for the delayed network. Right. So you'll see, like I was saying, because it's built uh, to be used in Google Classroom, you will see that it's got classes, it's got teacher, and it's got my class. But because we're now you are out of school youth or you are in business and you're looking to improve your skills, you won't be looking at any of the other features, but you'll go directly to resources. And when you, when you click on resources, you will see that you've got, what you've got is right at the bottom where it says um, everything you need to teach. You need to teach digital skills. It says start teaching, but we're going to go to explore lessons. Right. And when you click on explore lessons, you will see that on the left hand side, it's got late elementary, middle school, high school and adult learners. In your case, what we're going to do is we're going to click on adult learners. And the minute you click on adult learners, you will see at the top, it's got lessons, right? And it's showing 42 of 142 uh, lessons. And each of these lessons are lessons that will grow our digital skills, right? So if you are looking to, for an instance, um, plan an event, if you are in events planning, you just click on plan an event, and then you go start. Right, and when you go start, you will see that Right in the middle of the screen, you've got what we call your tutor. And this tutor is the allocated tutor that will take you through the course content, right? So um, the tutor will explain to you in detail what you need to do. And it's, it's almost like a step-by-step -step guide of how to build whatever it is that you're trying to build. And in this case, because we're in events, you will see that he will introduce himself and then he will tell you about all about um, events and, and how you go about. But what's important as well is to note is that at the right below the, the, the video, there's um, a link or rather a drop down that says transcript. So in the event that, you know, da uh, data is an issue, you are then able to read what the instructor is going to say. And then you can follow the instructions as per what you're reading here, instead of playing the entire, um, inter instead of playing the entire video. I think what's also key to uh, note here is that there is a plan event pre-survey, and it comes with almost all the courses that you have. So it will ask you just general information uh, about what you're trying to achieve. And once you complete the survey, um, what, what the system will do is it will sort of try to put together similar lessons for you so that the minute you complete this one particular lesson, then you are able to actually follow through with other courses. So there's numerous courses uh, that are available or resources that are available in, on the platform. And in this case, I'm imagining some of us also want to do um, Let's look. Some of us want to create CVs, maybe. Right. You will see if you scroll down, um, there should be a, a bit uh, something about CV creation. Yeah, there it is. Start the resume. And when you click on that, you go to start. And like with the previous one, you'll see you've got your instructor, right? And on the right-hand side, you've got the actual instruction of how you go about in getting the, 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 the documents that are required to, to complete the task. Uh, below, you get the transcript script again, and you just follow the transcript in order to complete in the event that you can't watch the video. And I must say that um, when you're looking at uh, watching the video, 
it's best that you work hand in it it works hand or very well uh with the transcript so in the event that you watch the video instead of watching the video over and over again if you've missed something you just go to the transcript sorry about that it seems i got disconnected again so i was saying in essence what we're trying to say is that whilst you 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 self promote it's key that you've got to have some some substance some form of skill that you can work on and find and um and and work on and just make sure that you refine and keep going at it don't get tired of yourself and building that skill because that skill is what you're going to use to promote yourself and in turn eventually that skill itself will 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 be used to promote you as a person so self promotion in essence is a very positive thing and i think we've got to learn from little children and build confidence and try to show off the substance that we have so that eventually in turn we grow ourselves as a business and where you are a business you grow the business itself such that it speaks for you as a person i think that's going to be the end of it in terms of self promotion however earlier i'd i'd i had asked us to think carefully about the skills that we have and we would like to use for 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 promoting ourselves um i'm going to pause for a moment and ask everybody someone or everybody in the group um what they they think what skill they have and how they can use that skill to build themselves and make sure that they 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 promote themselves positively